So in this video, I'm going to be having a look at 2.7 from your CNOS assignment, Windows Printing. So it says, for this one, install and share a locally attached printer on MLA PC01. Map the printer as a network printer on MLA PC02. So what are we going to do here? We need both of the computers. So I'm going to open up now. Here I've got... Is this okay? So I'm looking now at okay. I'm just going to restore this. So this is PC02. I need PC01. So I'm going to open up PC01 as well. Let's see if it allows me to open up PC01. I'm going to open PC01, connect and start. Just going to make that smaller. So on PCL1, I'm going to go to printers, print. So there's printers and scanners. Add a printer. And then, so the printer that you want to connect to, you're going to say it's not on the list, and you're going to select one. My printer helped me find it. Now, I want to select a printer from a list. Let's see. Mm, so it gives me these printers and faxes. Add a local printer with manual settings. That's the one I want. So you'll accept the default port, and then you'll choose the generic printer. You can choose any one of these printers, actually, right? So we'll choose a generic printer. Uh, go next, and then next. You want to share the printer? Yes. Next. And then finish. Okay. So I've shared the printer now. 
then right i'm getting errors because i've got too many virtual computers on this machine and i'm running out of disk space so i'll just show you on the one computer what needs to be done let me just close it here so pc2 i'm going to close turn off and i'll just work with pc1 So on PC2, you'll do exactly the same thing. You'll go to printers, and then you'll say, add printer. OK, so add a printer. And this time, you can type in the path to that printer. Select a printer by printer name, and you can select the path. So if I look at this printer, how is it shared? the printer that I just installed. There's my color printer that I just installed. If I go to the properties of that printer, okay? Printer properties, sharing. I can see that this is shared and there's the share name, okay? So if you share this printer, only users on your network with username and password for this computer can print to it. The printer will not be available when the computer sleeps. So to change these settings, you need to go to Network and Sharing Center. Okay. So this is the name of this computer or the, the setting, um, the name of the computer or of the printer that has been shared. So we'll copy this name. And then the path would be, what is the name of this computer? So this is Subain N MLA PC01. So when I say add printer now, I'm going to say it's not on the list. Then I'm going to select here. I'm going to type. Backslash, backslash, uh, Subin, MLA, PC, O, one, backslash, the name of the PC, or name of the printer, and there's it here, color printer. Okay, and I'll go next, next, and finish. So you'll see now that if I go to I can see I've got a number of different devices here. Color printer, right? So then you'll take the relevant screenshot here. Okay, so this is not complete. We need to take all of the details for this printer. 
um, the sharing and its properties, etc. So that's how you would do 2.7. Remember, these are not all the correct or all the screenshots, but that's the process that you would go through when connecting to a shared printer across the network. You will also need to ensure that both computers are on the same network. Otherwise, there might be connectivity problems.